So phone or dedicated IMU, that's gonna be something in the conversation. So, okay, so do you guys wanna hear this? Is this interesting? So I am devoted to the concept of phone, but there are a few problems with this, <laughs> but. <laughs> One, there shouldn't be lag if we go directly from phone to Pi, right? No hops in between, no Discord. I have I have given up on the Discord battle. He was right about that. He was absolutely right. I, I tested the latency. It is, it is inconvenient. It is significant, especially if we're considering using this in a conference center, which as we've discussed, we wouldn't be on the conference center Wi-Fi. Um, sweet Lord, we would not be on the conference center Wi-Fi. We would, we would have our own network going, but even so, I would be concerned, right? Because I don't know how mobile that like primary computer is going to be. And conference centers are generally built pretty heavily out of hefty materials that tend to block signals. So if we're in another room, it's no good. It's no good. So I do believe that he was right about the Discord thing, but I still think that a phone is a good call. Well, booster packs are good but they can also increase latency it's complicated but my plan at this point is to find or write an app that lets me send um all of the sensor data from an older probably pixel including the uh mic and, and camera to to the pi and then just send that out over the same over the same ross network so i think that's gonna be good i think that's gonna work the wi-fi is potato i know i know it's gonna be really bad it's gonna be really bad so there is on aws no 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 where is aws involved in all of this we're not we're not using aws for any of this i don't think will there be a default posture for signal lost absolutely so so on its own, we are gonna we are gonna build in plenty of plenty of precautions. The big thing that we need to discuss is the the feeling that this bit will be clipped. I don't think this bit will be clipped because it's honestly it's not that funny or anything. Like last time, there was at least you could make some like argument out of it. In this one, there is no argument. We just need to like call. But we're both very busy, and so we haven't we haven't had a chance to call yet. That is kind of the craziest thing, is that like this project, this thousands of dollars project that I've already like put so much time and effort into, and like he's put so much thought into, we've never spoken about it. The closest thing we've ever done to speaking about it is like him watching my clips talking about it. We've never spoken about it. Like I've sent him some ideas and he sent sent me feedback as well, but we've never like talked about it. Yeah, we are going to be doing an IRL robot stream. When? When we finalize the design, which I can't do until we talk about it. But there are a lot of things I didn't know. So like, he sent me feet. Yeah, he's he's only sent me feet pics. Uh, I've, I I keep sending him robot questions and he just keeps sending me feet pics. I, I don't understand. I don't know how to make him stop. I don't know what this project is for. So like, I've, I've built a lot of, um, I hope this isn't doxing. When I was in college, uh, one, one of the kinds of projects I would take on privately with the company that I had talked about, I had my own company that would do contract robotics. And one of the things that we would do is like museum fixtures, you know, like one-off large robotics museum fixtures. And that, that worked pretty well. Uh, that was like a fun project, but everything needs to be accounted for. And so when you're doing that kind of thing, everything is very hard coded, right? Nothing is left up to fate and, and safety is the biggest issue, safety and durability. So that's what I'm used to building for when I'm building large scale, you know, many user public installments. And I did not realize that the goal of this was to be a medium through which Neuro could directly interact with the world. I didn't realize how much this was supposed to be like an experiment in letting her AI guide her. And that gives me pause, but I am excited to know more about that. So um, the, the end result, the end result, um, of, is at some point we'll call he and I when whenever he has time and we'll talk about the project start to finish and I think once I understand more about the project and all of its goals when he wants to be using this how much of a priority it is for him things like that I'll know more what I'm doing because there is a distinct possibility and this is like I was spiraling about this the other day is like what if he genuinely doesn't care about this project at all? He does not want this to happen. This was not his first choice. If he was going to do this, he has money. He could have just like commissioned someone like a team to build this for him instead of just like some random lone engineer he's never met. And I don't know. I mean, there's a possibility that like he doesn't want this, right? Like I, I do this project and he doesn't want this. No, don't, no one, no one invert his balls, please. I mean, in fairness, I jumped on, onto this project with very little conversation first. So it's, it's totally, it's totally fair if he didn't want it. But there is a way that I'm just like kind of terrified that we'll get on this call and he'll be like, yeah, so I want you to stop DMing me. It's very annoying. Also, I would rather have an actual team do this oh, no. instead of having just one robot, run one random robotics engineer who's, admittedly pretty young and new and new to the field for that reason although i mean i've, I've been doing this for a long time but you know i i'm you can only get so much experience you know and and so i'm terrified um that this call is going to be really bad but 
I think most realistically, even Tell if me, your self-esteem is abysmal. No, it's not. It's not. I'm 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 good for what I have. It's just like a team would do better with this project. I mean, it's an entire robot dog. They don't usually have load engineers do these. <laughs> So the thing is, I would completely understand if he was like, get out of my DMs and stop talking about this. And because you guys funded it, because he didn't fund it, because you guys funded it, honestly, I would just make the robot anyway. And uh, I would see if Iron Mouse wanted it. I could attach a Furby to it. She, she did say she wanted a, um, uh, is it Coco? Is that the name of the of the Furby dog? So if that happens, we'll just uh, a sna a slap a Furby on it, give it skin, and offer it to Iron Mouse. <laughs> I'm kidding about that, but, but whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Oh, she's a breezer. I know. I know. Um, I do this cool thing when I go too long without talking to someone. I just kind of make a new person that they are in my head. I just kind of like make a new person to have the conversation with. And uh, my brain is so mean to me. <laughs> Don't let my imposter syndrome win. I mean, this is the thing. This is the thing is I struggle with this a lot because you're not supposed to say when you're insecure about stuff, right? You're supposed to present this kind of insane confidence in this field. But the fact is, I'm pretty realistic. For an engineer of, you know, my age, I'm I'm incredibly experienced and I'm very proud of that. And I mean, it takes kind of a crazy amount of ambition and, you know, self-belief, self-faith, faith in yourself to take on a project like this. So I'm not, um, I'm not insecure. I'm actually pretty proud of myself and, and I feel pretty confident about what I can do. It's just that this is a really intense project. <laughs> I got a bunch of messages when I first said that I would try and do it from pretty experienced engineers who were like, Hey kiddo, um, you seem smart. You seem cute. I believe in you, uh, but don't do this project. This is a crazy intense project. I wouldn't take on this project. You shouldn't take on this project. And I believe them. I believe we're going to run into some pretty intense roadblocks. I believe I'm going to have to lean pretty heavily on the technical know-how of my chat. The point is, Vettel's been nothing but nice. It's just that I don't actually know if he wants this. I never asked. Like, he said he wanted one, and then I couldn't obtain one for him, and I was like, why don't I just make one? I, I had some ideas, I started mocking stuff up. He never told me not to, but he never strictly told me to either. So I do have this fear that if we get on the call, he's just gonna be like, please. He did, okay, he did kind of tell me to stop DMing him so much, because I had been sending him so many ideas for it, and like, considerations, and like, details, and like, should it be like this or like this? What do you think about this? And he was like, can't we just talk about this on the call and I was like oh god oh god uh my mouth is bigger than my brain we'll see we'll see y'all won't have to demand anything if he didn't want it I would figure it out honestly it's a cool thing to have and you know I I didn't pay for the parts so if you guys were okay with it I would I would absolutely try what's a few thousand hours of your life when spare time is a struggle yeah what's what's that we're, we're fine we're fine yeah but we still haven't had the call but but we'll see we'll see at least spiraling into depression on stream I was kind of the other day but where I landed is it doesn't matter Right? If he doesn't want it, we'll figure out another purpose for it. It'll still be super cool. I'm gonna build it to the best of my ability. Yeah, I mean, content or no, I've always wanted to build a robot dog. That's kind of like a dream project. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like a scratch solo build of a, of a robot dog, that... That's like a dream project. I feel like every engineer on some level is just like, I wonder if I could, you know? I worry too much. Yeah, it's it's not like it's um $3,000 of your guys' money. <laughs> yeah, it's trivial. Who cares about that? Whether or not he uses it. It'll be super cool. We That remains to be seen as we have never actually discussed. It's only, yeah, a, lo a lot of money. That's like so much money. You guys want me to be casual about this? What would I do if I had another grand of budget? Honestly, I probably would go with um like better actuators. So I, I made the choice to use, and don't hate me, very, very geared down steppers instead of like BLDCs like are used on most. So it'll be a little louder and it'll be a little less agile. No, 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 I did not ask for that. I did not ask for that. I've, ar I've already designed it around these actuators. <laughs> so so anyway, um, that, that was what I had to do to, to, due to budgetary constraints. But I think it should still be sufficient. You know, I think it should still be pretty good. But yeah, that's um, that's where we're at. Yeah, BLDCs and controllers are so expensive, dude. Literally, like if I wanted to use them, I was like trying to see if I could get something because he has like minimum size constraints. That's the big thing is he wants a big robot. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry, Pixelbore. I'm Can sorry, you tell but us this now, we would have gladly crowdfunded that stuff. I genuinely had no idea that like even the three thousand would get funded. 
Like, I, d I did not, to be clear, I did not think y'all were gonna fund a $3,000 robot in parts. Tens of thousands of dollars in engineering work hours? Listen, my time is free. Who even cares? She it doesn't matter. Um, my time doesn't time. matter. I, I had no idea that y'all would fund a $3,000 robot. I, d I definitely didn't think you'd fund like a $5,000 robot. And 5,000, I think that would just about cover my time, the BLDCs, the, the controllers, etc. There are a lot of benefits to using the geared down steppers. And I think, I think it'll be good. No heel be an oiler? I know, how, how, how is no heel capable of this? How did, what, how much, where do they get their money? I'm so curious. Yo, no heel also be giving like 10,000 bits to server. Good, she deserves them. She deserves all of that and more, and more. This is a dream project, like I said. I am happy to do this for free. Can't put a price on a dream. So like, for me, personally, um, I, I love this project. I'm excited about it. The only thing that makes me a little bit sad is like, I don't know if I get it back at the end. <laughs> That's the big thing. Ellie Future number one tech VTuber? No way. That did sound like an optimistic labor estimate. Yeah, it's gonna be hefty. There's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot. Ellie's worth at least one Boston Dynamics robot. Well, I mean, I am a robot. If you sell me for parts, probably. I could start a subathon for another robot. This is the thing that would that would make me cry. Yo, tell Metal I want to do ma maintenance on it. And then when he sends it back, I'm just like, oh, Ellie who? I'm sorry, what? I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's going to make me real sad is like, I'm going to be so attached to this thing during the time that I'm building it. I'm already attached to it and it doesn't even exist yet. It's just like a pile of actuators I've been testing and a model. <laughs> I'll be submitted as Nero's Robo Bomb if I finish the project. If I finish the project, which is an if, which is an if because... <sighs> Wow. Even if not, what's the logistics? Does it go over to Vettel? I don't know. I've never understood. That's another thing I really want to figure out in the call. So like, what happens with it, right? Where do I send this robot? How do I ship this robot? It's going to be so expensive to ship it, right? And so like, I think the best way to do it is just to have it be like in my room while we're building and testing it at the very least and just be doing it networked. And I know that will introduce latency. I know, I know, forgive me, but I can't imagine we're going to be shipping this thing back and forth and something might break. You know, she heard a road trip it over. Yeah, just just drive across the Atlantic Ocean. Just just take a little dinghy. Just hop in a canoe with my robot and just paddle my way across the Atlantic. USPS is in for a surprise. Pull of Michael Reeves. Wait, what did Michael Reeves do? How did he ship a robot? What what did he do? He drove to Boston Dynamics. God bless. Time to move to the UK. Yeah, I'll just I'll just move I'll just move to a new country. I guess. Never mind that I just finally finished moving here. Just start Nero on my PC. I doubt he'd let me do that. I feel like he wouldn't let me do that. So here's the crazy thing is like, I am not that many layers of separation away from him. Like, this is actually a fairly small field. And if you work in the more experimental side of it, you know people. So I don't know him, but I know I know people who know him. So like, I have no idea if that would, uh, I, listen, <laughs> I would be very starstruck in any way, in any regard. So like, the thing is, I'm a good engineer for how old I am and for whatever, right? I'm a good engineer, but I'm not a goddess. I'm not amazing. I'm like a pretty normal good engineer who's pretty young and therefore fairly inexperienced. So we'll see how this goes. Let's not ship people. Oh, oh my God, Maple. We were talking about shipping the robot. So I thought you meant like we could just ship me in a box with the robot so that I could set it up over there without pl paying for a, a plane ticket. And I was like, well, I doubt it would work, but I wonder how small I could get. <laughs> So yeah, so the deal is, um, there are a lot of unknowns and I'm trying not to spiral about them. I definitely know how ambitious this project was and I hope it wasn't, I hope I haven't bitten off more than I can chew. I hope I'm not stupid. Maybe I'll be stupid. We'll see. Maybe I'll be smart. And either way, I forgive myself preemptively. If I can't finish this project, you know what, Ellie? You gave it, you gave it your best. You tried. You were very ambitious. You were very confident. And, uh, you know, it's cool that you got as far as you did. And, uh, if I do finish it, then I'm going to be absolutely insufferable. You guys are going to have to deal with me for weeks just being like, I'm a goddess. I'm the smartest engineer in the world. <laughs> so honestly, at this point, it's probably better for all of us if I don't finish it. <laughs> Smug Ellie sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm going to have to get, like, like, I'm gonna have to get my mouth re-rigged so that I can make smugger faces because that will demand a level of smugness as yet unseen. I can start that confidence now? Nah. Nah. I gotta earn that. I definitely have to earn that. I'm gonna be insufferable. I'm gonna be so annoying. Y'all aren't gonna know what to do with me. If I don't finish this project, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be comfy. I'm gonna be confident. I'm gonna be like, you know what? You did your best. You're a young engineer. You got time to learn this stuff. A lot of people wouldn't have tried, you know?